This is Hisham Abu Mustafa, lecture in English, Linguistics and Translation. Actually, in this short video, I'm going to talk about teaching translation. Is it enough for you to be a professional translator in order to be a good teacher of translation? I think this is not enough. You should be fully aware of the problem that a student might face while translating. From the very beginning, a student should know that linguistic aspects of the English language and the Arabic language in order to be fully aware of the process of translation. So the differences between English and Arabic as two different languages from uh, different families should be in the mind of the teacher and the student. That the main problems that are faced by the students are at different levels. So while we are teaching the students linguistics, we should always remind them of these problems in translation. For example, the syntactic and grammatical problems. For example, if I say, الأسود حيوانات متوحشة. When I translate this into English, I would say lions. The lions are, are wild animals, not the lions. Although the definite article is found in both English and Arabic, but its uses are different actually. At the semantic level, you might face some problems like the metaphorical structures and how to convey the metaphorical structures. Uh, this may be also stylistic uh, level as well. For example, if I say If I translate it into she has a very beautiful face and just say this this is the intended meaning so he i lost the the aesthetics of the metaphor or the metaphorical meaning so i should search for a suitable metaphor in the english language in order to communicate this so i can say she has a shining face that disperses the clouds of despair he I kept the metaphorical meaning and the intended meaning of the speak. The pragmatic meaning means what the speaker intends to say, what is intended by the speaker. Sometimes what is intended by the speaker is different from what is said because of something like irony, uh, punning. So when you find some mistake, some problems in uh, making a, a, com a compromise between the intended meaning and uh, the literal meaning. So you should try to avoid the, the literal meaning and to try to find the pragmatic or the intended meaning. For example, in the Holy Quran, ذُقْ إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَزِيزُ الْكَرِيمُ Of course, the meaning here of Al-Aziz Al Karim is used ironically in order to show great humiliation of for the uh, listener. So, actually, we should convey the ironical meaning, okay, in order to convey the sense of humiliation in the English language. Okay, so you are a noble one. Okay, I should convey the same meaning the same ironical meaning okay because this is intended also this is part of the me of the intended meaning okay uh, thank you very much for